Amanda Holden has reacted to Sharon Osbourne's rant about her that was recently posted. Sharon posted a huge message to her Twitter account in response to an article Amanda did with the Daily Mail where she called Sharon out and said she thinks she's not a loyal friend to Simon. A day after Sharon made her response to Amanda, Amanda threw shade on Sharon. She did this by making a comment underneath a quote on Instagram. The quote said, Don't waste your time with explanations. People only hear what they want to hear. In Amanda's comment underneath this, Amanda said, Too right. This seems like Amanda's way of saying she thinks responding to Sharon is beneath her and she will not waste any of her time speaking about Sharon again. In case you missed Sharon's rant about Amanda, Amanda, Sharon posted a tweet to her Twitter account saying, I am responding to your interview with the Daily Mail. I respect the fact that you feel the need to defend your good friend and employer, Simon Cowell, who is also your husband's employer, or so I've read. However, a couple of your statements regarding myself are factually incorrect. The statement, I hated seeing certain people in a reality show dissing Simon. He's the person who's given them all the chances, given them a lot of money and lifestyle they probably wouldn't have had. The truth is, you don't know me, Amanda. You know nothing about my history in the music industry, my achievements, the artists I have worked with, the shows that I've produced, and my global celebrity. Unlike you, the brand of Sharon Osbourne is known worldwide. There are many countries that I could work in if I choose to, however, I don't have the ambition or time to do so. And unlike you, I don't work in radio or pantomime. Our worlds are totally different. I have been blessed with an amazing lifestyle throughout my entire life. Before you were born, I was living in a mansion in Beverly Hills and continue to do so today and continue to have my country estate in England as well. But there is something you should know. I never discuss money, lifestyle or positions of power. I find it to be classless and crude. However, you've now forced my hand to divulge these things to you and I honestly don't want to seem like I'm bragging, but the truth is my money and success were not due to doing a couple of Simon Cowell talent shows. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed doing them at the time as they were great fun. Yes, Simon paid me very well, probably more than what you're receiving today, but all of that, my darling, went on a few handbags. At the time that I worked on X Factor, I was the only judge who had global accomplishments with multiple million-selling artists, Grammy Award winners, and arena and stadium headliners. I was also a very successful festival producer with OzFest, which ran for 24 years, as well as a best-selling author and producer of the hit MTV show The Osbournes, for which I received an Emmy Award. Amanda, I think you're missing the point here. No disrespect to Simon Cowell, but he needed me for musical credibility on X Factor, and I delivered for him, and together all of us made a great team. It was only after several seasons of X Factor that Simon started to build his music empire, and I give him much kudos for what he built. But in case you are living under a rock, my husband is a music icon who has sold 170 million albums, won five Grammy awards and is a rock and roll hall of fame inductee we have been married 42 years and we had a fantastic lifestyle before i ever heard of simon cowell on closing i hope i've given you a proper education about me so that the next time you choose to mention me you'll have some facts in your pocket the bottom line amanda is that you'll never be in my league and you've picked on the wrong ugly stepsister for this video's comment question are you team sharon or team amanda before you go be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on your favorite celebs. Thanks a lot for watching.